A lot of you may have heard of Such Speed. He's been a YouTuber in the community for many years now. His original content, which I would argue was actually enjoyable, was back in the day when he used to upload Build Your 8C and other Badline related videos with fellow content creators such as Hawahui, Ex Nostorio, Dante, you know, the OG Build Your 8C group. In recent years, Such Speed's popularity in the community has decreased significantly and he's no longer seen as a respectable content creator. He's been exposed countless times now for scamming developers, thumbnail makers, video editors, all for ludicrous amounts of money. He's been uploading fairly consistently for the last two years, but somehow I can't spot a difference in any of his videos. They all start the exact same way with some fake giveaway and repetitive intro. A lot of you may be unaware of Suchbeat's actions, but let's do a quick rundown on the last two or so years of Suchbeat's YouTube career. For the last four years in a row, Suchbeat has had videos posted on him for scamming thumbnail and video editors. The most recent event that came to light was in Swoop's video, in which he showed screenshots from a Twitter user called Cole. We'll take a look at this in more detail in just a second. The timestamp for the two things I look into within this video, faking giveaways and scamming, are both on screen. So let's take a look at where Such Speed's career started going downhill. The very first incident of Such Speed scamming was brought to light by a now inactive YouTuber known as Shut Up Brit, who's also known as Dylan. Tracking back the evidence, this happened four years ago now. Dylan edited many videos for Such Speed, but when it came to paying, Such Speed continuously made excuses and avoided paying. To shorten it down here, as you can see in the screenshots, on April 12th, Such Speed told Dylan that he would be paying him as soon as possible. Speed then messages back the next day saying he apologizes etc etc he says he'll have someone send it through as soon as possible if we then jump to the next screenshot it shows no more messages from such but a message from dylan several days later saying payment still hasn't been sent to summarize what happens here such eventually did pay shut up break and gave him a public apology on twitter but i honestly do feel judging by recent events the only reason this happened was because the incident received quite a bit of popularity and such was receiving a large amount of backlash for it but such beats list of scams only starts here Let's take a look at one of the more major incidents that happened only a year ago. Some of you may know of the incident I'm about to discuss, as this was the worst case of Suchbeat being caught scamming, and it's rumored that this was the reason Suchbeat's YouTube rank was removed on Hypixel. Around a year ago, Suchbeat's editing team uploaded two videos to Suchbeat's channel. They both achieved around 25,000 views within a day, significantly more than Speed averages on his videos. In these videos, Speed's editing team showed large amounts of evidence about how they were attempting to chase payment of over $1,800 and how they had even gone to send invoices to his address for the money they were owed. Countless messages were shown of them contacting Speed requesting payment and trying to get him to pay for months on end to which he constantly made excuses. Judging by the amount, I'm guessing that they had been editing his videos for a long period of time. I do recall seeing something within the video about the amount building up over half a year. I could not find any more updates in regards to this, but I do believe that the editing team said if they weren't paid, they'd result to dealing with this in court. I assume such eventually did pay this amount, but who knows. Regardless, let's take a look at now the most recent evidence of Speed blatantly scamming yet another thumbnail maker, and this happened just three weeks ago. Some of you may have seen this incident covered by Swoop in his video as I mentioned, but to summarize, a Twitter user that goes by the name Cole released screenshots showing how Speed owed him $180 for thumbnails that Cole had made. Speed first replied that he's sorting it, but this kept continuing to the point it's several months later, Speed has been ghosting Cole and hasn't paid a single dollar for anything. Due to the situation not getting too much popularity, I honestly feel like Speed is not going to address it at all and continue to not pay another thumbnail editor now. I just hope this video spreads the word more and lets people know the scummy attitude he has towards people's work. But his behavior doesn't stop here. His scummy behavior towards YouTube and other people's work gets even worse. What a lot of people aren't talking about is the fact that Suchbeat for several months went on a large partner streak. He went around to server owners and or replied to server owners that were reaching out to him for sponsored videos. He promised a server owner to do a video on the server but then took the money and didn't post a video on the server at all. You'd think with all of these incidents happening, especially with his YouTube rank being removed, Suchbeat would come out and say something about it. Well, you're wrong. He still uploads at a fairly consistent rate and clickbaits his ever declining videos. Although he did post a video addressing why he lost YouTube rank in which he said the following. Now, apparently the reasoning is promoting, displaying and demonstrating cheat clients with branding shown and within a context involving their own services or services that do not allow them. Now, I'm pretty sure that's not actually the case. I'm going to have to double check over this, but that's one of the reasons and it kind of sucks because because I was really looking forward to making that video. It is slightly controversial because you can definitely see that in a sense I'm promoting hacks, I suppose. Although I did include multiple disclaimers in that video saying, don't hack, it's stupid. We're doing this because it's April Fool's Day. Um, it was, I guess, a terrible joke. Uh, it kind of sucks. Now, the second reason as to why I've supposedly lost my YouTube rank, I can understand a lot more. Essentially, I had a friend who owned a all shop. Now, they also sold things that weren't even in Minecraft, for example, VPN. 
VPNs, other things. You know, if you're in a part of the world where you can't access certain websites, certain games, you could use this VPN and be able to do so. Now, what I didn't realize is that on Hypixel, you're not allowed to promote any kind of alt shop. Now, I must admit, I am very stupid for not realizing this. And honestly, don't get me wrong. I understand alt shops can be very sketchy, a very sketchy place to visit. But I was assured that this was completely fine. They didn't steal or anything like that. All of this is completely false. He quite literally had his YouTube rank removed after his editing team posted two videos on his channel about him not paying them. He reached for whatever reason he could in his video in a desperate attempt to keep his name clear. But enough of me talking about the past. You'd think after all these years of being exposed, maybe, just maybe, he'd see what he was doing as wrong and scummy and would think to not continue doing it. But if anything, it's just gotten worse. On top of this, a little part which adds to such be scummy behavior is his well-known fake giveaways at the beginning of his videos. For those of you who don't know, Suchbeat starts every video of his giving something away. It's generally a Minecraft account or something as such. However, some time ago, a YouTuber DM'd many of the winners and none of them claimed to have received anything at all. An admin in Suchbeat's Discord admitted himself that Speed simply says he's giving something away to increase engagement on his videos and have people comment. Going off of the recent situation that has happened, it's safe to say that Suchbeat won't change anytime soon. He'll continue to scam anyone he can to get what he wants. His selfish and scummy ways have gone far enough and if you're a thumbnail maker watching this, I think a rule should be charging people your work before you provide it to them. I can say without a doubt that Suchbeat abuses his fairly large subscriber base to look like a trustworthy individual to video editors and thumbnail creators, but he's clearly not the type of person you want to be doing business with. I just hope this video brings more light to the situation and I just wish Suchbeat would take responsibility for his actions and pay the people who have spent large amounts of their time working for him. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe we will hear something from Suchbeat, maybe we won't, we'll just have to see. Alright, peace out.